Hello guys, today I'm going to be talking about something that's two weeks old and um, something that's going to be shocking to people that, um, to people who watch football, I guess you want to call it. Um, the, the point I'm going to talk about is a uh, rookie who has more like, who has more life experience than normal rookies do. And when I say life experience, I mean this guy's a little bit older and he knows, uh, yeah, he's been, let's just say he's been there, he's been in the world for a little while. Um, what I'm talking about is the 34-year-old uh, uh, long snapper from Texas Longhorns. And this and this long snapper's name is Nate Boyer. Sorry if I'm saying the wrong name. Um, this 34-year-old uh, this, this, uh, rookie, um, he's... Uh, uh, the, the reason he's a little bit older and trying for uh, at least trying for the NFL is um before he went to college or before he went to Texas um he was actually in the army uh, doing his tour that in Afghanistan his, his tour of duty in Afghanistan so um so I guess it's uh, also I'd say uh, thank you for Nate for at least you know protecting you know the United States and our freedom I guess you want to call it. so thanks Nate and um. So yeah, uh, that's the reason he's a little bit older and um, gets trying out for the NFL. I know it sounds a little bit weird You're thinking 34 year old really. Usually they've been in the NFL a little bit longer and um, you know they've been they have some NFL experience. Well, he has experience, just not in football, because um, some information which I'll tell you later in the video. Um, he's like I said, he went. He was in he was in the army. He went to go do his tour of duty in Afghanistan. So again, I'd say again I, I don't know why, but again I'd say thank you Nate for at least protecting, protecting the country. So thanks Nate. So um, I guess little facts and information I guess you won't call it. So um, uh, Nate, uh, he um, before he went to Texas Longhorns before he played football there, he has he hasn't actually got to play. Um, the he hasn't actually got to play organized football. He probably played like backyard football or something like that. So, so it's just it's 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 cool because you know he he actually got to experience organized football instead. You know, do some other stuff. So that's cool. Um, uh, when he went to Texas, he wasn't uh, obviously a scholarship. He didn't go there right after high high school like normal football players you just want to call it. He was a walk on, so he didn't so. He had to build up all the uh, all the uh, uh, things I guess you want to call it, like like all the uh, he had to build up trying to be a first string and stuff like that and trying to be number one in the I guess the NCAA nation I guess you want to call it. So um, in this article that I got all this information from, uh, Peter King's uh, comments on Nate's age, height, and weight, which you know I can see why. Uh, he would comment on this because you know it's not normal for 34 year olds to try out for football try in the NFL I mean you can but it's going to be a lot harder because you're getting to the point where in the uh, trans uh, the uh, translate going to college to NFL it gets harder and you know you get to face guys who are bigger, bigger and stronger than you and you're going to take a lot of hits so it's just like I can see why but if Nate makes it into the uh, NFL, which would be cool, because it's not very common for you know people with life life experience. I like, I like to say not older home people life experience <laughs> is uh he at least at least would be I want to say it would be cool because at least he's done something both he's he's played he's played organized football in college and also he people will know him either way either. From the army or from the NFL, so it'd be pretty cool if he makes it. Doesn't we don't know. Um. Uh, when he was in college, uh, he, um, he had a very good uh, snap on the ball. He had good speed where he can get the ball to the punter really good and get ready to block and stuff like that. So uh, that so the speed on the ball to the punter can help him a lot to make it to the NFL because you know how hard it is to get that ball snap back and get ready. So the punter can get that ball off. So maybe that can also help him to, to at least get to the uh, NFL. So give it up, Nate. And if he does make the NFL, he doesn't have to be he doesn't, he doesn't have to be drafted. He can be undrafted into free agency, free agency list. So we don't know. 
What's up? Yeah. Um, so yeah. He so he has a chance to at least make it into the um NFL, which is cool. Or make it on the free agency list. Uh thank you for at least uh thank you for at least well, thank you for watching this video, obviously. Um yeah, uh, this article I read, it'll, it'll explain a little bit more than I'm than I'm talking about. I just get all the basic stuff and just throw on something, throw on a page and basically how to tell you guys. If you want to read more about uh, Nate's uh, going in the NFL and stuff like that, this article I think will tell you a little bit more than what I'm saying, like I said. So I'll, show, I'll put that article uh, website in the description below. So again, thank you for at least stopping, watching the video looking at me like I'm weird and um also please subscribe to my channel whatever the thing is <laughs> and um please like this video if you do so that'd be awesome also follow me at twitter ftbljake and um I'll be posting more football stuff okay I'll see you guys later bye peace